Hi everyone, as you all know, the new MacBooks, which comes with M1 chip, they don't support more than one monitor. So how do we extend our monitors? Well, if you have an iPad lying around, then this video is for you. Stay tuned. So to normally extend our monitors using Thunderbolt, I am using this Belkin adapter, which is a USB-C to HDMI adapter and works perfectly with the MacBook Pro. This Belkin adapter is total value for money. I mean, you're getting it for 2800 rupees and that too from a company like Belkin, which comes with a two year warranty, which is fantastic. You also get this Thunderbolt option in case you're planning to charge your MacBook while it's extending the monitor, which is perfect. And the best part about this thing is it doesn't heat at all. No matter if you stay connected for like four hours, five hours. So it's pretty safe for your MacBooks. So after making all the connections, as you can see, the second monitor is on. So let's see how to extend the monitor using the iPad. So before you make the connection with an iPad, you have to check for a few things. First, you should be signed in with the same Apple ID. Your Wi-Fi should be turned on, obviously for both the devices. Your Bluetooth and your AirDrop should also be turned on. Well, now the procedure is very simple. Open your iPad, unlock it on your MacBook, open the window that you want to display on your iPad, hold the green button, select move to iPad and that's it. Yes, it's that easy. And as you can see, I can move my cursor. I can type anything on the second screen or should I say the third screen? So if you found this video helpful, make sure you hit the thumbs up button and please subscribe to the channel. This is Kunal signing off. Bye-bye.